Our musical guest today is Israel's most famous reggae singer, Jamaican-born Tony Ray, moved here in the 70s and has been belting out tunes about his love for the Holy Land and uh, the Rastafarian influence, adherence to the five books of Moses and then some, and we're very happy to have him here with us. Hello and welcome. Hello, hello. It Thank is you. so, so cool. First of all, I grew up on, on reggae, and it's just so nice to know that there is a reggae influence here in Israel. Strong, a strong. strong. So what made you first come here in the 70s? Well, from first Kingston, all, Jamaica, man. <laughs> <laughs> I came to Israel. I thought it was Tel Aviv. And then I discovered when we, we, we were in Bristol, England, and uh, we had this audition with this impresario, Chaim Saban, in uh, London. And we said, okay, we're going to Tel Aviv to, to spend two months before we go back to Switzerland. Then I discovered Tel Aviv is Israel. Then I started, and the old band started to shake. And, but we came, and we didn't like it, because, you know, the people here were very, very... Uh, they sounded angry because people were... I didn't understand the language, and, and the, the hands moving, and I yeah. <laughs> said, <laughs> and and uh, I said, no, 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 we're not going to stay here no more than two months. That's it. So we're sitting together, and this Ethiopian uh, and Etem Yemenite guy came and said, uh, how do you like it? I said, don't like it. Why don't like it? Because people are always angry. And he said, no, it's wind. <laughs> and he introduced <laughs> us to Humos, and uh, we, and we and never turn history. back. Never turn back. The rest is history. And listen, I mean, like, there's so much influence from the Holy Land on, on reggae music and Rastafarianism. Like, I've studied a lot about it. I never understood why, yeah, but you know, it's the a long Jewish story. stars. That's we a long, go, long, long go, story for another day, for the Holy Land show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, what is it like, you know, living here and being kind of, you know, the unique kind of papa of reggae? Uh, look, I live, I've lived there uh, for the past, I think, 47 years, and I love it. I have two children. I have a daughter. Rachel and a son Lee and a granddaughter wow. and uh, my new wife uh, from Sweden, <laughs> Ang Angela, and uh, it's great. But there are problems in Israel. There are problems in Israel, racism problems. You understand? It's like uh, I can handle it, yeah, because I know how to fight. But you know, the black people here in Israel, they don't, they don't always uh, come forward and stand up for their rights. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I, I want to stand up for You're their the rights. You're doing it and being that person through your music. So yeah, hence, through hence my your music. new song, which uh, you came here earlier yeah, and yeah. Uh, performed, call us, Me Love, Me Black Skin, me which love me black I imagine skin. is, uh, you know, based on uh, what you were just talking about. So. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm just saying, you know, I sang it in in, uh, in Hebrew, and I sing it in English. Great, okay? we gotta hear it. We gotta hear it. Thank you so much. Take it away. All right, take it away. Irie. <laughs> Irie. <laughs> <laughs> Black man is a human. Don't 
said to my mind I said to 